now that we've generated our letters, we're ready to print. So it's going to bring you over here to the pending print page after you've done editing your letters. And it's going to show all the ones that we had been working with. So in this case, we only had the three uh, for the credit bureaus. You know, if there was going to be some creditors and furnishers, they would all continue to list down here. And what you can do, um, they'll come pre-selected. So you can just select the ones that you want to generate the PDF. You can view and edit them really quick if you need to, um, just to make sure that they're good to go. But once those are fine, just make sure they're all, they're all selected, the ones that you want to generate the PDF. And on first round, you're going to want to include the ID docs. On second and third round, you don't really have to, uh, but on first round, you absolutely want to. And this is going to include any document that the customer has uploaded that it is uh, an ID document, document, right? It's like photo ID, social security copy, utility bill, something like that. Okay, um, you can see which ones are supposed to be included by looking at the client's uh, documents tab. Um, there'll be a section in there that will show you the three and you can preview them in case you need to adjust any of it. Um, if you want to include a return address, um, you can as well in here. And if you want to create a task, you can. Now, just so you know, when you do print letters, it's going to reset the do and counter. So what that means is that when you're done printing, it's going to start counting 30 to 35 days, depending on what we had set up in your settings for you, for when the next round is due. Now, the system will automatically notify you by email that um, a new credit import is due for a particular customer one day before it's due. Okay, so you'll never have to wonder, you know, when the next one's due, especially if you're managing hundreds of clients at once or thousands, you know, you will definitely know when you're supposed to take that next action. So it does that by default. But if you wanted to create an additional task, um, maybe, you know, you do this uh, to create a task on your calendar as a reminder, you can do that as well. Um, but those are optional. So we're just going to go with include ID docs for this uh, example. And then down here, these are your two main options right now. So you can print letters only, and it will generate a PDF for you that just has all the letters. You can just print it out locally and send them off. Or you can opt to do letters and envelopes. It'll generate two PDFs, one for letters, one for envelopes, and you can go ahead and print those out and send. Now, you might be wondering what these other ones are here for. Um, so the send to print fox and the print fox uh, box right here. These are essentially going to be uh, options that we're working on. Um, we'll do a company-wide announcement as soon as it's ready. But essentially, this will be a print and mail service. So instead of printing them yourself locally and doing it, we can handle that with one click. So what's going to happen is when you click on this option, when it's ready, you'll get a pop-up that will detail out all the letters that you have, and it will give you options for sending it uh, standard mail, first class, or certified. And of course, there's a cost associated with each, but it is minimal. Um, and it will give you a grand total. Uh, and you can decide, you know, if, if that's something you want to move forward with, you just click OK. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else. We'll handle, um, you know, printing it, stuffing it, mailing it. And if you do the certified letter option, there'll be uh, tracking on that mail piece. So when you're done with all of this, it's going to take that tracking number and it's going to put it on your customer's uh, account, right? So... We'll show you that a little bit later once that's actually up and running, uh, currently in beta, so keep an eye out for that. And then we'll be doing uh, a fax option as well, so stay tuned on those two. So for, for now, you know, print your letters or letters and envelopes, either one. So when you click either of these buttons, it will generate that PDF and you can save it. Now when you're done with this, and you're done with this client for the first round or the second round, whichever round you're in currently, um, the last step is to update the client status to which round they're in. The reason we do this is because there's a bunch of email automations and text message automations that are gonna stay in contact with your customer up until the next round is due. So you don't have that you know, no communication for the next 30 days, which is typically where customers get frustrated and they start requesting chargebacks because they haven't heard from you. So the system is designed right from the start, uh, already pre-configured to do this for you. So just know after you're done printing for this customer, um, you're going to come back here to the Actions tab, and you're going to change this to whatever round they're currently in. Whichever round you just sent off, if it was round one, you put them into round one, and then you hit Update and Launch, and that will go ahead and start those automated messages, uh, emails and text messages, and so forth. And then when you come back here and you do round two, after you're done printing round two, you're going to come back here and once again change it to, okay, they're now in round two. And you're going to hit Update and Launch again. Same thing for round three. Change it to round three, 
update and launch. And that makes sure that all those really awesome automations um, get triggered and your customer will stay informed. Once you're done um, with all of this, we, the letters are now going to go into active. Okay, so this is where it's going to show all the ones that you have already printed out. Uh, so you have a history and uh, some details on it. And I mentioned before the tracking ID, if you do the mail option, it's going to appear here. Uh, so it's going to give you a little preview, but once it's working, the tracking number would just appear right underneath it and you'll be able to click on it and it'll take you to the USPS uh, website and you can actually see when it was delivered. Okay. Um, if you need to view, I don't have any in here to show you, but um, if you need to view the letters, of course, there's options for that and to download uh, the letter as well. Okay. Um, when you do a second round and you start building letters, you know, doing your disputes, printing them, it's going to take the first round letters and it's going to put it in archive. So there will be a running history of everything that's taken place on this account. Um, just follow those couple of steps, really. So just to recap, you know, we did our import. We marked all the items that we want to dispute. It brings us over here to our main disputes tab um, where we can, you know, refine any of them. Once they're ready to go, we go over to letters to create letters. Rather, we pick the email template that we want to use. We check off the ones we want to merge into that document. And then at the bottom, we hit create. It'll give us that preview where it shows all the data merged. You can make any fine tune adjustments after which it'll take you here to the printing options. You print them off. And then the very last step again is just to update their status, which should be on the actions tab to whatever round they're currently in. 